Hey everyone, it's Sipa. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to apply my eyeliner and how to do my brows. Because I've been getting a lot of requests for like a long time, but I didn't think it was really that important. Because I've never getting a lot lately, so I'm just going to finally do it. So, I don't use liquid liner because it's really hard. I don't know how you guys do it. You guys are geniuses who do it. And I don't use pencil because I hate that you have to like sharpen it over and over again. Yeah. So I use MAC fluid liner, as you guys may know. And um, I just love this. I use this all the time. As you can see I'm like halfway done with it already. When I do makeup on the others, I always use this. Take it for liquid or pencil sometimes, but they don't know. They really don't know. So they see their makeup at the end, they're like, oh my god! I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so with an angled brush, just like this one, just grab a little bit like I just did right now, and I just like to smudge it on the side just to make sure there's no, like, I don't know, big globs of it on it, I guess. And, um, yeah, I do my eyeliner really weird. It doesn't hurt at all, I'm telling you guys, so let's get started. So, maybe I should've got a bobby pin. My freaking hair. <laughs> okay. So I always like to start off on the outer corner and then work my way in. And I don't always wing it. Like today I'm not going to. Okay. And then I swear this doesn't hurt you guys. So Doing this doesn't work for me, um, what else? And just like doing it freehand, it doesn't work for me. I have to actually like pull my eyelid by pulling my lashes, and I don't pull my lashes, my lashes are pretty tough. So, um, whatever works for you, but um, just get in there deep. I don't really like to make my lines so thin. And I like to go little by little, I don't like to do no. no mistakes, please. Do you see how great this liner works? MAC is amazing, I'm telling you. Okay, start writing out, of course. Go ahead and grab some more. Slide it across the side. And make sure, see how there's like a little bit of skin that you can probably see right there? I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Just go ahead, pull it, however you want, and make sure you get in there. Especially if you're wearing fake lashes, you don't want to see skin. It's going to look all ugly and horrible. And yeah, um, I don't really wing it, but if you want to wing it, just keep slowly dragging it out here. Just like so. And um, that's how I put my eyeliner. And of course, if you want to attack the waterline, go ahead and grab some more. Same brush. This is like friendly to your eye, so you won't go blind or anything. And uh, the point. And of course, when you do your eyeliner on your waterline, please, ladies, don't forget to see the top. You don't have to go all, like, all the way over here on the top. I can't do it because I just start blinking too much and it tickles way too much. And then you see me crying. So... Yeah. Now which one looks better? This side or this side? <laughs> okay. And after we do that... I should have done this side first. Now it looks so off. <laughs> now for my brows, of course, you need to comb your brows out. And... A suggestion, do your brows first. I don't know what you guys do. I wax my brows. I recently started waxing them though. And um, I need to go. I haven't gone for like two weeks. I went before I went to Vegas and I haven't gone since. Yeah, I'm about to go like this. Um, you don't use that brush. Where did my brush just go? Oh. Um, I use MAC and Bark. It's dark brown. 
and I use an angle brush just like this one. It's not like so thin. I know some people use like a really thin one. Like this one you can use for um, your eyebrows too, but I don't. I use it for only my eyeliner. Um, so yeah, I just grab plenty of it on there. And um, I like to start in the middle of my brow. And um, yeah, my brows are already shaped. Except for some of these little buddies out here hanging out that need to go away. Um, but just follow the shape of your brow, or if you want to shape it yourself, um, don't curve it until like out here. If you, I'm not curve it, but yeah, curve it like the angles that people do. Some people do it like way over here. No, that's definitely wrong. So I like to start from the middle and um, angle it. I don't know if you guys can see because I'm a freaking lefty. Sorry if you can't see it. So, like I said, follow the shape of your brow. And it's up to you if you want to extend it. I suggest you do. And extend it as far as your eyeshadow goes. You don't want your your eyebrows to end like right here and you have like eyeshadow out here. That just looks really weird. So, don't do that. That's a no-no, you guys. Um, if you want to make it any darker, you just go ahead and go over it again, which I will be doing. I want to make it nice and bold, and then whatever you have left over, just start slightly brushing it in. You never want to make it so dark right here where I'm going, in the inner part, because it's not cute sometimes. Well, at least it's not cute on me. I look completely Arabic. Middle Eastern. Not that there's a problem with that, but I'm Hispanic. I don't want to look like another nationality. I am what I am, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm like completely doing too many facial expressions and my eyebrows are moving like crazy. Can you guys hear my laptop? And my radio in the background? It must be driving you guys crazy. So yeah, be easy peasy, guys. Like I said, don't add any more when you do this part. And just brush it in. So yeah. And then another thing that I use... Hold on. I use this too. Um, the... I don't even know what it's called. What's this? Mascara... Oh, that's like in a different language. <laughs> Maybe on this side it says it in English. Yes, it does. Natural Lash Mascara Professional by CoverGirl. It looks all brown, but that's because I use it on my brows, though. I guess it's like supposed to be a conditioner for your eyelashes, and then you use it on your mascara. Or you can just like put this on your lashes, and um, yeah, like when you're not wearing any makeup, I guess. But I don't use it for my lashes. I use it for my brows. Because if you have like um, long brow hairs and sometimes they're like going crazy and not in the direction that you want them to be, use this and it keeps them in place. And some people use wax. I don't use wax. Weird. So, um, yeah, just grab some. This is like brown. Well, like a nasty kind of brown. Anyway, okay. So I start from the middle, of course. See how these are like kind of going upward? And now that I brush these inward, it looks so much better already. And, um, just follow the shape. And now these little babies are going to stay in place. And, yep. Yeah. So that's how I do my liner and my brows. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.